The Neo Geo is a cartridge-based arcade system board and home video game console released on April 26, 1990 by Japanese game company SNK Corporation. Although it is a member of the fourth generation of video game consoles, it is the first system in the Neo Geo family, which ran throughout the 1990s before being revived in December 2012 with the Neo Geo X handheld and home system. The MVS, as the Neo Geo is known to the coin-operated arcade game industry, offers owners the ability to put up to six different arcade titles into a single cabinet, a key economic consideration for operators with limited floor space. With its game stored on self-contained cartridges, a game cabinet can be exchanged for a different game title by swapping the game's ROM cartridge and cabinet artwork. The platform's popular series include Fate or Fury, The King of Fighters, Metal Slug and Samurai Shodown. The Neo Geo system is also a notably costly and technologically uncompromised home console, commonly referred to today as the AES. The Neo Geo was marketed as 24-bit, though it is technically a parallel processing 16-bit 68,000-based system with an 8-bit Z80 coprocessor. Neo Geo hardware production lasted seven years, discontinued in 1997, and game software production lasted 14 years, discontinued in 2004. As of March 1997, the Neo Geo and the Neo Geo CD had sold 980,000 units worldwide. In 2009, the Neo Geo was ranked 19th out of the 25 best video game consoles of all time by the video game website IGN. There is an amateur and professional commercial home brew market for the system. History The Neo Geo hardware was an evolution of an older SNK Alpha Denshi M6800 arcade platform that was used in Time Soldiers in 1987. Further developed in the SNK M68000 hardware platform as used for POW, Prisoners of War in 1988. Contrary to other popular arcade hardware of the time, the SNK Alpha Denshi hardware used sprite strips instead of the more common tile map based backgrounds. The Neo Geo hardware was essentially developed by Alpha Denshi's Eiji Fukatsu, adding sprite scaling through the use of scaling tables stored in ROM as well as support for a much higher amount of data on cartridges and better sound hardware. Initially, the home system was only available for rent to commercial establishments, such as hotel chains, bars and restaurants, and other venues. When customer response indicated that some gamers were willing to buy a $650 console, SNK expanded sales and marketing into the home console market. The Neo Geo console was announced on January 31, 1990 in Osaka, Japan and released on April 26, 1990. Neo Geo's graphics and sound are largely superior to other contemporary home consoles and the MVS was one of the most powerful arcade units at the time. Furthermore, since the AES was identical to its arcade counterpart, the MVS, arcade titles released for the home market are perfect translations. Although its high price tag kept it out of the mainstream gaming market, it outlasted the market lifespan of the more popular Sega Mega Drive Genesis. In the United States, the console's debut price was planned to be $599 and included two joystick controllers and a game, either Baseball Stars Professional or NAM 1975. However, the price was raised and its American launch debuted as the Gold System at $649.99. Later, the Gold System was bundled with Magician Lord and Fatal Fury. The Silver System package, launched at $399.99, includes one joystick controller and does not include a game. Other games were launched at about $200 and up. At double or quadruple the competition, these premium prices made the console accessible only to a niche market. Several home console systems were created based on the same hardware as the arcade games. 
as well as a series of handheld systems under the Neo Geo brand. These systems include the following. Hyper Neo Geo 64 Arcade System, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, and Neo Geo X. The most recent, the Neo Geo X, is an officially licensed device with a collection of Neo Geo AES games pre-installed. When real-time 3D graphics became the norm in the arcade industry, the Neo Geo's 2D hardware was unable to do likewise. The last official game by SNK for the Neo Geo system, Samurai Shodown V Special, was released in 2004. SNK ceased to manufacture home consoles by the end of 1997, but continued to release games for both arcade and home for another eight years. Measured from the introduction of the arcade hardware in 1990 to the release of the last official home cartridge in 2004, the Neo Geo enjoyed a primary software production lifespan of 14 years, and a hardware production lifespan of 7 years. On August 31, 2007, SNK stopped offering maintenance and repairs to Neo Geo home consoles, handhelds, and games. Reception. In a 1993 review, GamePro gave the Neo Geo a thumbs up, though they voiced several criticisms, noting that the system was not as powerful as the soon-to-launch 3DO and had few releases which were not fighting games. They generally praised both the hardware and games library, and recommended that gamers who could not afford the console play the games in the arcade. Technical Details. Each joystick controller is 280 mm x 190 mm x 95 mm and contains the same four-button layout as the arcade MVS cabinet. The arcade machines have a memory card system by which a player could save a game to return to at a later time and could also be used to continue play on the SNK home console of the same name. The arcade version of the video game hardware is often referred to as the MVS, or multi-video system, with its console counterpart referred to as the AES, or Advanced Entertainment System. Early motherboard revisions contained daughter boards, used to enhance the clarity of the video output. The MVS and AES hardware can execute identical machine code. Owners can move EPROMs from one type to the other, and the game will still run. The program specifics for both MVS and AES game options are contained on every game ROM, or whether the cartridge is intended for home or arcade use. However, the arcade and home cartridges do have a different pinout. They were designed this way to prevent arcade operators from buying the cheaper home carts and then using them in arcades. It has been found that in a few home version games, one could unluff the arcade version of the game by inputting a special code. ROM sizes and startup screens The original specification for ROM size is up to 330 megabits. Hence the system displaying max 330 mega pro gear spec upon startup. While no technical advances were required to achieve it, some games over 100 megabits, such as Top Hunter, followed this screen by displaying an animation proclaiming the 100MEGA shock. The original ROM size specification was later enhanced on cartridges with bank switching memory technology, increasing the maximum cartridge size to around 716 megabits. These new cartridges also cause the system to display Giga Power Pro gear spec upon startup or during attract mode, indicating this enhancement. The 100 mega shock. Giga Power Specifications The system uses seven different specialist processors, which divide the workload for the visuals, audio and gameplay. CPU Main CPU Processor Motorola 68000 at 12MHz CPU Coprocessor Zilog Z80 at 4MHz RAM RAM 214KB SRAM Main 68000 RAM 64 kilobytes video ram 84 kilobytes ssram main ram 64 kilobytes palette memory 
16 kilobytes fast video sprite RAM, 4 kilobytes Z80 sound RAM, 2 kilobytes SRAM, battery backup save NVRAM, 64 kilobytes SRAM, onboard ROM, 512 kilobytes zoom lookup table, 128 kilobytes fix layer graphics, 128 kilobytes. Z80 sound, 128 kilobytes, 68,000 BIOS, 128 kilobytes. Display the SNK custom video chipset allows the system to draw sprites in vertical strips which are 16 pixels wide, and can be 16 to 512 pixels tall. It can draw up to 96 sprites per scan line for a total of 380 sprites on the screen at a time. Unlike most other video game consoles of its time, the Neo Geo does not use scrolling tile map background layers. Instead, it has a single non-scrolling tile map layer called the fixed layer. While any scrolling layers rely exclusively on drawing sprites to create the scrolling backgrounds, by laying multiple sprites side by side, the system can simulate a tile map background layer. The Neo Geo sprite system represents a step between conventional sprites and tile maps. GPU chipset SNK LS PC2A2 at 24 MHz SNK Pro BO SNK Pro AO Neo B1 Neo GRC Display Resolution 320 times 224px Progressive Scan Color Palette 65536 Maximum Colors on Screen 4096 Maximum sprites on screen, 380. Minimum sprite size, 16 times 16 px. Maximum sprite size, 16 times 512 px. Maximum sprites per scanline, 96. Maximum sprite pixels per scanline, 1536px. Static tile map plane, 1. Scrolling tile map planes. 1 to 3, with line and column scroll effects. Aspect ratio, 4 to 3. A, V output, RF, composite video, RCA audio, RGB. Sound chip, Yamaha YM2610. 4 concurrent FM channels, 4 operators per channel. 3 SSG channels, 1 programmable noise channel. ADPCMA. 6 ADPCM channels, 18.5 kHz sampling rate, 12 bit audio depth. ADPCMB, 1 ADPCM channel, 1.85 minus 55.5 kHz sampling rate, 16 bit audio depth. 2 interval timers, 1 low frequency oscillator, sound work RAM, 2 kilobytes, sound ROM. 128 kilobytes on board, up to 512 kilobytes sound ROM on cartridges. Other power source. Separate DC5V and DC9V adapter. Consumption. 8W older systems, 5W newer systems. Dimensions console. 325 mm x 237 mm x 60 mm. Controller, 280 mm x 190 mm x 95 mm. Console storage removable memory card, 2 KB or 68 pin JIDA VER. 3 spec memory, any 68 pin memory that fits the JIDA VER. 3 spec will work. Arcade storage removable memory card, 68 pin. Cartridge is composed of two PCBs. Legacy. The Neo Geo is the first home game console to feature a removable memory card for saved games. By the mid-1990s, SNK was trying to move on to a new platform, the Hyper 64. A Hyper 64 game called Fatal Fury. Wild Ambition was ported to the PlayStation. The GameTap subscription service has included a Neo Geo emulator and a small library of Neo Geo games.
In 2007, Nintendo announced that Neo Geo games would appear on the Wii's virtual console, starting with Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, Art of Fighting, and World Heroes. Neo Geo games are also available through Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network, including Fatal Fury Special, Samurai Showdown 2, Metal Slug 3, Garou, Mark of the Wolves and the King of Fighters, 98. Homebrew activity exists even since the console's discontinuation, both by non-commercial hobbyists and commercially. Neo Geo has a community of collectors. Because of the limited production runs received by cartridges amongst the sizable available arcade library, some of the rarest Neo Geo games can sell for well over $1,000. The most valuable game is the European AES version of Kizuna Encounter. The MVS market provides a cheaper alternative to the expensive on-rare home cartridges, and complete arcade kits are priced at a premium.